what is going on guys it is Manuel Miranda here and today I'm here to explain why this is going on basically I'm here to explain why I went bald why I continuously shave my head bald and why I learned to just love it so for a long time I've been losing hair as you can see maybe you can see in these two you know, center points in my head. Right there. Now, it wasn't always like that. And I know you'll say, oh, but Manny, you're the only one who's noticing that. It's not a big deal. Well, it kind of is a big deal to me because, you know, I'm the one who only really matters in my head and the partner that I'm with. She doesn't really get bothered with what I do with my hair. You know, she accepts and she you know, um, what's the word, encourages whatever I decide to do to make myself happy. And to be honest, having longer hair and having that kind of hair, when I try to do that, I'm really not happy. And reasons being, I have a very large forehead and I'm kind of making myself look a little too old and I'm making myself look kind of dumb. I have to just accept my head and hair for what it is. And I really don't want to look like those guys you see on the streets and all power to them who look like they're trying to save a hairline like I don't want to look like that at all I don't want to look like that so in all reality I just shave it bald so I'm gonna just give you a little you know quick little tutorial and steps on how I just shave my head bald so besides using a straight razor you know shaving my head all the way whatever I use this yes Sounds annoying. Gotcha. But this helps me, you know, just shave everything quick. It gets everything. It gets the job done. So I'm just going to, I guess I'll speed this video up and just shave my head for you guys. Enjoy the video. Give me quick two seconds. I skipped a little uh, step that I usually do, which is like wet my hair with very like hot to warm water. And the reason I do this is because when you put warm or hot water to your head or any hair anywhere, it basically makes the hair stand up. And when you put cold water, it brings the hair back in. A little quick tip. So I'm gonna just go run some, you know, water on my head. Use the straight edge up, and yeah, be right back. I'm back with a wet head, so let's just get our blade, start it up. Just like move this down a little bit, just so you guys get a better view. Okay. Let's say I let you stay. I let you stay for coffee in the morning, cause you spent the night right next to me. Now, a lot of people who are watching this video might be like, whoa, this dude is crazy. Why is he shaving against the grain? Well, this is just a personal preference. Going with the grain will reduce razor bump problems. And But I go against the grain because I like a more smooth, you know, feeling on my head. So just for any of those pros out there that are like, this guy's nuts, don't follow him. This is personal preference. No one has to follow me.
Okay, folks, this is about the time where I'll switch out the blade because I already got half the front part of my head shaved. And for the back, I want it to be fresh blade. So let's just do that. Obviously, I'm going to use a mirror for the back of my head. I don't see how I would have done it any other way. So. Sorry that I couldn't really record shaving the back for you guys. The lighting in my bathroom is way better. Obviously, I don't sit here and do this in my room on a normal basis. So I really needed that lighting in there. And I didn't want to take the camera and all this other nonsense. So I already shaved the back. Whatever. Boom, boom. This is absolutely the worst part. <sighs> <laughs> But for me, I want to avoid razor bumps as much as I possibly can. I want to avoid weirdness, so I have to go through this extreme pain. And anyone who shaves will tell you how extreme this is. So if it feels like that around here, imagine on your head. It's the worst. Oh my god, I'm regretting this already. This hurts. This. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> have to, I have to. Just think about it, I have to. <sighs> oh. Especially when you get a cut. Oh my god. Ah. Ah, okay, it's not gonna go away. I got the fan on. When you hit when the wind hits it, it feels way better. <sighs> I gotta put some on the back now. God, this is the worst. Ah, uh, 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 fuck. I hate this part. Okay, now it's starting to feel good. The stinging is going away. Ah, uh, okay. Oof, that sting. That beard, though. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this. This shit smells so good. Ice blue. Let's see, can you see that? Oh, it just smells so good. All right, let's see. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah, this looks good. Beard. Beard. Oh, right there feels good. Okay. So when you finish shaving, before you put that stuff that hurts for like a hot minute, you want to put some cold wood on your head to make the pores close a little bit. You don't want anything too going into your pores, whatever. You gotta really take care of your head. This hair, well, this this hair, this head look way better. And this when when it gets really hot and I get to tan it, oh, it's gonna look perfect. But yeah, you know, <clears throat> damn, look at those muscles. Nah, but. It takes a strong person to rock a bald head, to be honest with you. It's not the easiest thing in the world. But it's way easier than rocking a weird receding hairline. And not for nothing, this is my look. I have a really roundish, eggish head. So I think it kind of goes with me. If you disagree, then hey, that's your opinion. But yeah, this is what I do. I'm, I, I hope I gave you guys some tips on how to shave your head if you ever planning to. Let me see. 
Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. Looking like Trevor from GTA. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. So, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this little vlogish type of shaving my head experience. And also, comment down below what you think. Tell me if you have a receding hairline. Tell me your fear of shaving your head and going to this step. Trust me, you won't regret it. You may feel weird. You may feel the breeze, but you're going to love it, and people are going to love it on you. also gives you this certain level of masculinity that not a lot of men have. So, come to the dark side. Anyway, you guys, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you later.